Hi guys, I welcome you all to this video. Myself P. Monica, Assistant Professor of English, Kayser College of Arts and Science, Papa Mathirchambur. Today we are going to discuss the Elizabethan age. El the Elizabethan age, uh, 1558 to 1603, uh, uh, which was considered as the Elizabethan age. Um, uh, before the Elizabethan age, the mysteries, miracle and morality plays, they were... Uh, they were uh, performed in palace only after the origin of henry henry VIII, the university students they are uh, started their writings the university students are also considered as university wits uh, they are thomas kitt uh, robert green john lilly uh, christopher marlowe thomas mark and george P. Peer. they are considered as the university wits there was a first playhouse uh, that playhouse name was the red line the Red Line Theatre, which was constructed by John Brain. John, John Brain, it was a multi-sided theatre and it was attached by turret only. The next one, the next theatre, uh, which was constructed by James, James Burbage, uh, Shakespeare started his career in this theatre. And, and this theatre was designed by Inyard only. The third one, the Swan Theatre, the Swan Theatre, which was considered as the th third one, Shakespeare's first half of this uh, half of his career he started st started in this theater only it was constructed by Philip Hensland the fourth one the globe theater the globe theater which was owned by many large shareholders Shakespeare jo John earnings too Henry Henry Eight, uh, Henry III play was performing in this theater. In between the play, there was a fire accident happened. So, in 1642, the Puritans they closed all the theaters. Next one, the Curtain Theater. The Curtain Theater, uh, which was started in the uh, period of time 1577 uh, and uh, 1557 to 1622, many plays were staged in this theater only. The next one, Blackfriars Theater. Bla Blackfriars Theater, it was one, uh, only for high, high wealthy and educated people. It was considered as a uh, Elizabethan Theater. And next one, And next one, the origin and growth of political parties in England. Uh, the political parties, it was an interesting study of England. The Tories, uh, the political parties were divided into two categories, Whigs and Tories. Uh, King supporters are called Royalists and Parliament supporters are called Roundheads. After the, uh, after the Civil War, Royalists are called Tories and Roundheads are called Whigs. Next one, the restoration period. The political activity was uh, became popular and Earl of Salisbury, he was, uh, he was famous in this period of time and he was a uh, famous Whig politician too. Tories and Whigs, uh, after the civil war, Tories became uh, poor and, um, and uh, the Whigs, they are in a high level. Uh, they are in a high position so tories uh, hate wigs and uh, and the economic change was happened ham happened for both uh, wigs and tories the next one the age of queen the age of queen uh, queen and it was uh, hmm, the age of queen the age the age of Queen Anne, 1702 to 1714, was considered as a golden age because the uh, region was started by uh, Queen Anne. There was a great prosperity was happened in this uh, in the last three years. There was a huge number of changes happened in English and agriculture. Social hierarchy was also uh, called um, was in different category. And Duke, the Duke supporters, they they consider. They are considered as a prince because they are in a high level position and the squire, they, they paid taxes, land taxes to the government. The third one, the yeoman, they are in a high position, high population in, in our, in their country. There, are, there was uh, no uh, education improvement happened in this period. So, there, there, uh, so, it was a small level of public school were started in this period. The, uh, the square people, they, they send their sons, uh, sons to um, 
small level public school and the rich people they send their uh, children to pri private chaplain the road condition was also too bad the administration was not good in ants period so uh, uh, on, on this period uh, on this period the coal mining uh, the coal mining and cloth making industries are in a good condition there was a revolution ha happened so queen anne's uh, anne was uh, not used the coat properly she visit the coat um, rarely so the uh, courts are uh, the queen uh, queen anne's court was also closed so it was the uh, it was these things are all happened in this queen anne's period thank you guys